let's do an empties video. Okay, this is August, of course, because I skipped August. Some of you might have been paying attention. I did skip August. So um, August got skipped, and then September has basically just been a wreck of a month. It's kind of been just crazy and just a very unusual month for me. One candle here. Okay, I'm going to save this. This is from Goose Creek. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I completely emptied that one. I'm going to do a separate video from Goose Creek Candles um, just to kind of update people on how they've burned and how they've performed and things like that. So I'm going to set that one aside and I'm going to focus on these other candle companies. going to start with Homeworks and okay, one minute. I'm going to go check and make sure I have all of my candles rounded up. So just one minute. Okay, I've got everything I need. I'm going to start with this one right here um, from Homeworks, and it's this one, uh, Fall Farm Stand. Uh, this one has been a delight. Um, very simple, kind of spicy apple cider fragrance. A lot of those kind of just uh, typical fall spices, cinnamon, clove, um, very noticeable apple, even a little bit of a pear note in this too. Um, one thing that makes this smell different or makes it stand out from the crowd is the honey sweetness. And it's actually, um, on cold, it's a little more floral honey than it is in the air burning, but it is truly a very sweet added honey to this fragrance. And it kind of just tops it right off, uh, makes it a little bit uniquer than just your uh, typical apple cider fragrance. But I am loving this one. Very strong throw, probably between a seven and an eight from beginning to end, um, great burn, no issues there. I mean, it's still burning really hot and heavy right now. Really pleased with Fall Farm Stand from Homeworks. And the next couple of candles, not necessarily empties, but I'm gonna talk about them anyway. Uh, this one right here, Spooky Spider Cider. Um, some of you might remember, I kind of gushed about this one whenever I hauled this candle. Um, loved everything about it up until the burn of the fragrance. And here's why. It's these wicks. Uh, you can see what it's kind of doing to the candle. I mean, the smallest wicks I've ever seen from a Homeworks candle. And those were just not conducive to having this fragrance burn very well at all. So rather than just continue to burn this and try to prove a point, I guess, with a Homeworks candle and how poorly it's burning, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste this candle and just to show how terrible it's going to be because it is going to be a terrible burning candle and I know that and I'm not going to waste it. But I did want to kind of document what's going on. I think I'm going to just end up taking the wax out of this one and melting it in my warmer. I love the style of apple cider. It's very unique. Um, even with those tiny, tiny wicks, this was a good seven throw. Even with the wicks that small and the candle, the wax never really fully pulling out, it still had a solid seven throw. Just a terrible burning fragrance. Nothing I could do about it. I'm gonna save it though. I'm gonna attempt to save it and by taking that wax out and using it in my warmer. And the next candle, I did not finish but it had nothing at all to do with the burn. I'm not gonna end up burning it um, in October, so I'm not gonna end up finishing it, but it's, I mean, it's probably two thirds of the way done anyway, but I'm gonna talk about it here. It's Autumn Pinecone. It's a September fragrance for me, and that's why I'm not gonna continue burning it throughout the month of October. Um, one of my ultimate September fragrances, so it just doesn't feel right. Uh, for me during the October month. Um, one of the best fragrances from Homeworks, one of the best fall candles from Homeworks. Um, nothing but good things to say about this candle right here. And this was from a 2018 TSV where those TSV candles got a ton of hate back then. And the throw on this, um, solid seven to eight. Uh, burn was phenomenal. Um, no real issues with sooting or anything like that. Look at how clean that burn's been. I'd say it's about two thirds of the way done. And I foresee this one being a tremendous uh, fragrance from top to bottom, but I'm just not gonna be able to finish it this fall. So I wanted to talk about it at least. That's Autumn Pinecone. Okay, let's get back to some 2022 Homeworks candles. 
Um, I've kind of raved about this one too on this channel since I started back up this fall. It is Midnight Moon. Uh, this one, simply put, is a fresh pumpkin um, combined with an outdoorsy, leavesy note. A um, little bit of a zingy, kind of uh, candied ginger vibe to it. The only Homeworks candle that I have burned through two um, separate candles of this fall. Uh, Midnight Moon, and I'm so tempted. Even with all of the fragrances I have, all of the candles, all of the wax melts I have, I'm even tempted to light my third one up. That's how impressive we're talking about from this candle. Uh, Midnight Moon from Homeworks. And the next one, another 2022. It is this one right here, which has gotten a lot of love. Um, Harvest Bake Shop. And I'm not really even sure why. I gotta tell you what, guys. You know, you hear the phrase uh, sickeningly sweet used a lot in home fragrance. And for me, at least, when I look up the term sickeningly sweet, I see this candle uh, right here. This is the epitome of sickeningly sweet. And it's getting so much praise in the candle community. Um, but guys, this is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl uh, from Math & Body Works. It is extremely similar to that fragrance. It might be a tad spicier than the Caramel Pumpkin Swirl, but they're very similar to each other. Uh, definitely sibling fragrances. And one thing I want to show on this particular candle, look at the amount of residue, soot residue, in that wax. I mean, there was nothing I could do about it. It just burned really hot and heavy and messy, um, this candle, uh, along with a, another candle uh, from Homeworks that I'm about to talk about. Um, throw was enormous, so that sickeningly sweet vibe of this fragrance was only amplified because the throw was so great. Um, burn was great, other than the amount of sooting and all of that mess in the wax, but the appeal of the fragrance for me, just too sweet. Um, a very warm fragrance. Really feel like this one had a lot of caramel in it, and I feel like the caramel was the lead note. A syrupy sweet caramel. Um, some spices thrown in there too. Um, I don't know why they don't have caramel listed on this, but I really feel like caramel was the dominant note in this fragrance. I had to have it in a larger um, area to kind of disperse that power of the candle. Um, if I kept it in a bedroom area, that was really just kind of too much. But when it was kept out in the living room, dining room area, um, yeah, it did really well. I mean, it's just very powerful. Um, just a little bit too sweet for my tastes. But nothing to complain about as far as the throw goes. But it was a very messy burn. Uh, Harvest Bake Shop. Okay, we're going to talk about another messy burn from Homeworks 2022. Uh, this time it is Wicked Cherry. And I think I talked about this one in my last empties video, even though I wasn't finished with it. Um, I mentioned it while it was burning. And I just want to show the mess of the soot again. Extremely messy. If you're familiar with a lot of uh, Harry's Red Current fragrances, um, this is going to be very reminiscent of that. Um, it was a very fruity uh, Red Current, and it kind of just smelled like um, pomegranate, Red Current, uh, maybe a little bit of plum, uh, just a lot of red, ripe fruits, dark fruits. I didn't get a lot of that cherry. There wasn't really any kind of cherry in this, whether it be black or just a regular kind of cherry. Maybe a little bit of blackberry, but to me it was a red currant, um, a pomegranate, and maybe something like a, a little bit of a ripe, very ripe red plum. None of that patchouli. Wasn't really any kind of a Halloween fragrance for me. Uh, just an overly fruity cherry fragrance that really didn't smell like cherry. Uh, wicked cherry. Another 2022 candle. This one burned to perfection. Um, no messy sootiness at all with this one. It's this baby right here, Harvest Donut. And this is Harry's first true pure uh, pumpkin donut fragrance. Um, it's exactly what this picture shows. It is a sugary sweet uh, glazed icing uh, pumpkin donut fragrance. Little bit of spices. The throw was probably on average around a seven or so. If I were to even it out, because it started off really strong and then kind of ended on a weak note. So if I were to even it out, I would say about a seven throw. Um, burn was fantastic. No issues there. Very clean burn. Burned all the way down to the wick clips. Um, extremely pleased with this one. Like I said, his first true pumpkin donut fragrance. 
if you're a donut fan, if you like donut fragrances, I've never really been a huge fan of Harry's other donut attempts with Homeworks, but this one right here is a huge winner for me, Harvest Donut. Another big winner, and this is a 2021 fragrance, even though I bought it on QVC this fall, so I guess it was leftovers from last fall. It's this one right here, Caramel Apple Spiced Tea. It was very truly just a apple cider fragrance. Um, the caramel really did kind of stand out on cold, but once I burned it, it was just an apple cider. It didn't really smell like tea at all. Um, didn't really have much of that caramel sweetness. Um, just a very basic apple cider, and I loved it for that. Burned very well. Um, not as far down as the Harvest Donut candle burned, but still pretty far down there. Great burn. Throw on this one was probably around a seven or so. Um, so no complaints there. Uh, really happy. That is caramel apple spiced tea. And this is my last 2022 Homeworks candle. It's this one right here. I fell in love with it. I have one left over, bought a two pack from QVC. It is cinnamon apple honey. Let me show you the burn. Really nice burn. Great burn all the way to the bottom. Um, throw was very solid. Um, between a seven and an eight, I would say. This was essentially as close you could get to Harvest Gathering without being Harvest Gathering from Bath & Body Works. One of my all-time favorite fall candles from Bath & Body Works. One of, I feel like it's one of the all-time underrated fall candles from Bath & Body Works. And this was as close to that without being dead on to Harvest Gathering. Um, it just kind of missed that sweet cranberry but I feel like the sweetness from the honey in this uh, just kind of was substituted there. So it really did kind of mimic uh, the sweetness, just not exact. But everything else about this fragrance was Harvest Gathering. Um, it really was. Uh, cinnamon, apple, honey, a huge surprise for me. And we're going to talk about two 2018 candles and finish this up from Homeworks, my Homeworks empties. This one is Harvest Leaves. To be honest, I can't even remember how well this one did. Um, you know, it's completely emptied, so I did put it in the freezer at some point and popped out the wax to get it ready to be recycled. Um, that's what I do with all of my empty glasses, but I cannot remember for the life of me the performance on this candle. Um, to me, that's not a good thing because um, it wasn't very memorable and a candle like Harvest Leaves usually is in one way or another. Um, I love the fragrance, one of my all-time top favorite fall candles, um, but I just can't remember how well this one did. I think it was one of my early August empties, so it's been a while since I burned this one, but just wanted to mention that. And my last Homeworks empty is this one right here, Ooey Gooey Salted Caramel. Um, boy, oh boy, this was an outstanding caramel fragrance. This is, of course, from the ice cream collection uh, from 2018, spring of 2018. But I like it as a fall candle, um, a very fall feeling candle. It was an early fall candle for me, so it's been a while since I've burned this one. Another early August fragrance, but I do remember how this one performed. It performed great, um, burn, no issues at all. The throw was a solid seven, probably approached an eight at times during the life of this fragrance. Burn was spectacular, no issues here with this one. Ooey gooey salted caramel from Homeworks. So that finishes up my Homeworks empties uh, for August and September. Now let's get into the rest of the candles. Okay, I've got four here from Scentworks. Only one of them is going to be a repurchase, and it was the one that surprised me the most. I don't know if any of you will remember um, what I had to say in my haul video that I did for Scentworks. It was a while ago, probably six weeks or so ago. Um, but this one right here, Hot Apple Cider. This one right here is Cranberry Biscotti. And then this one right here, Cool Autumn Day. And the last one is this one right here, and the one that is a definite repurchase for me, which is funny, very ironic, because I was so lukewarm on this candle during my haul video. Honey Drizzled Pumpkin. I mean, I, it just, it just goes to show, some candles are just meant to be in the air, um, surrounding your space, 
and not smelled in the jar. Um, and it smells exactly like it smelled on cold, just surrounding me in my house, wafting throughout the rooms, wafting throughout the kitchen, throughout the bedrooms. You know, that kind of fragrance, it just needed that kind of release, you know, that kind of freedom uh, to be what it was, to really kind of truly stand out. And boy, this one threw. Um, an eight, I would say, on the throw of this fragrance. Now, I burned this candle as one of the last candles that I burned in my old house. Um, so I have not burned it in this house. It is a 100% repurchase for me. Um, when the other three Scentworks candles here are not, none of them are going to end up being repurchases. All of them ended up performing, as far as the burn goes, about the same. So they were all very equal, as far as the burn goes, as far as that's concerned. Um, throw kind of varied on some of them. Um, like my cranberry biscotti, it was kind of maybe a five or a six throw. Um, the hot apple cider, probably around the same, maybe a five around there. It was very medium. Um, I have other apple cider fragrances that I'll probably get uh, way ahead of that one if I were to ever want another apple cider fragrance, and you know I will. Um, and then this one right here was a huge throw, um, seven or eight. It's just very reminiscent to Bath & Body Works sweater weather. So I'm good on that. Um, I was really impressed with that candle, but I'm not gonna make it a repurchase. But this one right here, I 100% recommend this one right here. Um, if I were to recommend any candle from Scentworks from this fall, it would be this right here, Honey Drizzled Pumpkin. Such a huge surprise for me. Will probably go down as one of the best fragrances for the entirety of fall 2022 for me. Okay, I have one lonesome Yankee candle here. Um, I put it under my candle lamp and then I put it in the candle crock. So it was in two different forms of being able to melt this candle and it never really did anything for me at any point. It is luscious pumpkin trifle, a very just mm, generic pumpkin, um, spiced pumpkin fragrance, a little bit of a creamy vanilla vibe to it. Um, vanilla sweetness. Not memorable really at all. Um, I do remember though that it was very weak in the throw. Even though it stayed in my bedroom the entire time, it was under the candle lamp and in the candle crock. A big disappointment from Yankee Candle. Luscious pumpkin trifle. Okay, the last candles I have here are from Bath & Body Works. So we're just going to kind of run through these real quick. Uh, pumpkin cupcake. Terrible. I don't know why I keep giving Pumpkin Cupcake a try. I mean, it's just terrible every year. I think the last really solid version of Pumpkin Cupcake for me was in 2014. Um, that's the last Pumpkin Cupcake that I really feel like I've gotten anything from. Um, just a very weak fragrance. I would say a three or a four on the throw. Burned fine. I've already emptied the rest of the wax out. Um, I think it burned all the way to the bottom, if I remember correctly. So no issues with the burn, just a very weak fragrance. And to be honest, a candle that really doesn't do it for me anymore. And then this one right here, uh, Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun. I think you could go back and look at my haul videos when I first hauled this candle. It is not the Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun from uh, years past. I think it's the version from last year, but it's not the Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun that we knew back in, I want to say 2016 and prior. Um, this is a new version of a pumpkin cinnamon bun fragrance, and it is not a repurchase for me. It burned perfectly fine. I had a great burning experience with this. Um, threw very well, probably a seven throw. Just had a very almost kind of creamy, lactonic, milky note to it. Kind of smelled like sour milk at times. So that mixed with a, a little bit of a warm bakery note just was not doing it for me. Um, but I loved it on cold. Not really sure what happened between cold and burning, but yeah, just not something I'll buy again. And then a uh, banana walnut muffin. I think this is from 2022. Um, yes, 2022, this year's banana walnut muffin. Love this fragrance. Um, was a huge hit for me, I think in 2020, as when this candle first came out. I would love to see this return every single fall. Um, to me, it is a great fall banana bakery fragrance as far as fall fragrances go. Uh, very fall, fall filling, fall spices, um, a lot of nutmeg in this, cinnamon. Um, not an overly spicy fragrance, even though there are a lot of quintessential 
fall spices in this. Burn was great. I've already emptied the wax out of this, so you're not gonna really get a great idea on how far it went down, but I had no issues with the burn. As always, the throw was very solid, probably between a seven and an eight at times. Um, eight at times on its highest, seven at its lowest. Um, no complaints, a definite repurchase. Okay, here's a candle uh, from 2019. This is autumn. And yeah, look what happened to this label on here. I actually had this in one of my, the Belk 11 inch uh, wooden base hurricane. And boy, when I tell you it really heated this candle up, I mean it, look what happened there. It got so hot, the label melted off. And I'm glad I caught that because it was so immensely hot. These wicks started to travel they loosened from the glass underneath, dangerously close. You can see over here, that wick over here. Um, I mean, it just was unbearably hot to even pick up to do anything with this candle. I had to remove the glass top of the hurricane and let this fragrance cool off before I could do anything uh, about putting it out or anything like that. A tremendous throw on this for an autumn candle, probably between a seven and an eight just burned way too hot. I probably should not have kept it in that hurricane for the amount of time that I did, um, but a great fragrance. One of the ultimate fall candles from Bath & Body Works. If I were to do a fall top 10 from Bath & Body Works, this would most definitely be in my top five. And the next one, oh, did not like this one. White Pumpkin Oakwood. Uh, I think this one came out last year for the first time. I was not a huge fan. I got too much of that woodsiness. It kind of came across as a perfumey woodsiness. Um, there was a little bit of the white pumpkin candle in this or that feeling of the creamy white pumpkin from their white pumpkin candle. Um, but the oak wood in this, the woodsiness in this fragrance, which smooth sandalwood, that does make sense because sandalwood can kind of lean a little bit uh, perfumey at times, a little creamy, and that's exactly what happened um, to the Woodsy Note in this fragrance. Uh, not a repurchase for me. Glad I at least tried it. This is one I was really curious about. Throw on this one, probably a six or a seven. Decent throw. Um, burn, no issues. Already took the wax out, but just, yeah, not a repurchase for me. White Pumpkin Oakwood. Okay, and I also burned another Banana Walnut Muffin. Huge thrower. Um, probably an eight, if not approaching a nine. Everything that I said about this year's version, same thing applies, maybe even stronger with this one right here. Definite repurchase. Okay, last candle here is this one right here. And this is terrible, uh, pumpkin cinnamon bun. This is the 2016 version of pumpkin cinnamon bun. And like I've said before, this is not the same fragrance as this year's pumpkin cinnamon bun. Ironically, both are not repurchases after having burned both. It was actually a very weak uh, Bath & Body Works candle, probably a five throw, maybe a four even at times. Um, burned fine uh, to my recollection, but just not a fragrance I would repurchase. And I don't think I'll even have to worry about that because I think there is now a new pumpkin cinnamon bun with the uh, 2022 version. Okay guys, thanks for joining me on this huge August and September empties for fall. If you stayed with me through the whole video, you are a trooper because I am exhausted after this video. I can only imagine what it was like to watch it. Yeah, I'll probably put this video up pretty soon. It's gonna take some editing though. I'm showing 40 minutes on my clock here. Whew, hope I can get that under 30 minutes, but I appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you soon.